Welcome to the introductory webinar for Mutation Surveyor Software by Soft Genetics. The goal of this webinar is to provide an overview of the workflow in Mutation Surveyor and introduce some key features. Mutation Surveyor is a unique software tool for variant analysis of Sanger sequence traces. The software was designed with a Windows-based, biologist-friendly interface, featuring full automation and easy linked navigation. It utilizes a patented anti-correlation technology to perform a physical trace-to-trace -trace comparison of a sample trace to reference trace in order to deliver accuracy greater than 99% when using FRED20 bidirectional sequence traces and sensitivity greater than 5% of the primary peak with low false positive and false negative rates. Mutation Surveyor features a multi-step alignment algorithm to detect insertion and deletion events and includes a heterozygous indel deconvolution tool. The key points of the workflow we are about to cover include creating a project by loading files and setting the project parameters, processing the data, and then using the different functions included in the program to review your results and generate reports. We can start by taking a look at the mutation project settings located under the process menu. The settings are categorized into specific tabs that allow for easy navigation. To the far left is the input tab, which includes settings that tell the software how to read the trace files you load into the project. Next, the contig tab provides settings to help group your samples into appropriate contigs, correctly pair overlapping forward and reverse directional trace files, and to adjust the boundaries of the comparison region. The mutation tab includes all of the settings that will affect mutation detection. The selections for what is to be displayed in the standard reports can be found on the output tab. The display tab is a location for the settings that pertain to how the mutation calls appear and also some of the preferences for the graphical analysis display, including the 2D small peaks for low frequency detection. The two directions tab allows for adjustment of mutation call thresholds when working with bidirectional or single directional data. The others tab provides alignment settings including GemBank download and orientation settings as well as methylation settings. Finally, the database tab located on the far right provides settings for your reference database that can help provide chromosome coordinates when the downloaded GenBank file does not contain them. However, please keep in mind that when first working with the software, we recommend using the default parameters as these will be appropriate for most projects. Once the preferences have been set, it is time to load the data. We do this using the Open Files dialog, which can be opened by clicking the folder icon located in the top left corner or by going to File, Open Files. To load the sample files you wish to have analyzed, click the Add button to the right of the bottom Sample Files field. Mutation Surveyor supports trace files from any of the major sequencing platforms such as Applied Biosystems and Beckman. Use the default file type or use the drop-down to select the preferred type of file. Select your samples to add and click Open. Up to 2,000 sample trace files may be loaded per project depending on the purchased license option. The field above the Sample Files field is for loading your reference files. In Mutation Surveyor, the term Reference represents a negative control or wild type trace file that is being used to compare against the sample trace files for mutation detection. Manually loading references are strongly recommended when detecting low frequency variants and work best when they are from the same run as the sample files being analyzed. If no reference trace files are loaded, the software will synthetically generate ones using the nucleotide string from the GenBank file and the peak intensities from the highest quality sample trace files. The top field is used to load any nucleotide text files you may want to use for alignment. Three different file types are supported in this field, GenBank, Seq, and FASTA. GenBank and Seq files both can include gene annotation, regions of interest, and custom variants. However, only GenBank files can cover multiple exon locations and include chromosome coordinate information. FASTA files can only contain a nucleotide string. If you are working with Build 37 of the human genome, you can leave this top field blank and allow the software to find a matching GenBank file for you. Once all of your files have been added to the Open Files dialog, click OK to load them into the project. 
If you would like to view your trace files prior to running the project, you can do so by expanding the file browser menu located on the left pane and double clicking on the sample you would like to view. To get a closer view, zoom in by holding down the left mouse button and drawing a box from left to right around the region you want to view. Scrolling is achieved by holding down the right mouse button and dragging the mouse left or right. Please see the hotkeys option under the help menu for additional mouse and keyboard shortcuts that can be used throughout the software. When you are ready to run the project, click the run icon or go to process run. Samples will be grouped into contigs based on sequence start position and sequence similarity. Overlapping forward and reverse directional sample trace files will then be paired and traces will be aligned. If a GenBank file was not manually loaded, the software will first check a local location for a matching file, and if none is found, it will connect to one of our databases to download a matching GenBank file to your computer. At the completion of the analysis, grouped samples will be displayed in contig folders located in the left pane, and the mutation report will be displayed in the right pane. You can confirm appropriate grouping of your samples by expanding each contig folder in the left pane or by viewing the direction column of the mutation report. If contig grouping does not appear as expected, please view one of our other available webinars regarding the contig tab options located in the mutation project settings, such as the utilizing Amplicon ID. The mutation report displays analysis results for every sample loaded into the project. Included in this report is information pertaining to the reference trace file used to compare against the sample and therefore contact number and direction in which it was aligned, region of alignment including gene name, exon, and reading frame, portion of the trace used for the variant detection, known as the comparison region, as displayed in the start, end, and size columns, a lane quality score calculated using signal-to-noise ratios prior to alignment, and mutation call information. Mutation calls are displayed with the contact numbering, taken from the GenBank or nucleotide sequence file, reference allele, alternate alleles, and if located in a coding region, it will also include amino acid information. The color coding associated with the mutation calls in this report is a theme consistent throughout the software. Font color alerts you to the confidence level of a call. The blue font is used for variants called with high confidence, while the red font alerts you to low confidence calls. The background colors also help quickly identify certain types of variants. A pink background is given to a missense substitution. The purple background is used to flag variant calls matching variant information from within the GenBank file. We call these reported variants. The mutation report can be used to navigate to the Graphical Analysis Display, or GAD, for visual inspection of the sample trace files and variant calls. To inspect a trace, double-click on the trace name. To view a specific variant call, double-click the cell that contains that mutation call. This will open the Graphical Analysis Display to the selected location. The GAD consists of five different panes, the nucleotide pane, amino acid pane, variation tracks pane, electropharogram pane, and mutation table pane. At the very top is a nucleotide pane. This pane displays the nucleotide string from the GenBank file, reference, and sample files, with differences in base calls indicated by color-coded asterisks. Please note that in mutation surveyor software, a difference in base call is not the same as a variant call. This pane also displays the orientation of the alignment along with chromosomal coordinates if available. The next pane down is the amino acid pane, which displays the translation from the GenBank file and sample. This pane provides exon location and flags stop codons with red font. The variation tracks located directly below the amino acid pane is an optional feature to display external databases that have been imported using the reference and track manager tool. This is also the pane that would display the locations of your known false positives and artifacts stored in your user knowledge database. To learn more about the variation tracks and how they can be used in your mutation project, please view our User Knowledge Database with External Annotation webinar. The Electropharogram pane provides visualization of the patented anti-correlation technique used for variant detection, with the results of this displayed in the mutation electropharogram we see here in the middle. 
When working with bidirectional data, both the forward and reverse trace files are displayed together in order to better depict the bidirectional analysis. This pane can be used to manually inspect your trace files and in conjunction with the mutation table pane below can be used to add and edit the mutation calls. The mutation table provides the analysis results for each mutation call, which includes genomic index positions, translation, the scoring values determined by the anti-correlation algorithm, any reported annotation, and any comments or actions performed. Double-clicking a mutation call in the mutation table will update the GAD view to center on the variant location. A more detailed walkthrough of this feature is covered in the corresponding webinar titled Working with your Mutation Surveyor project in the graphical analysis display. Mutation Surveyor has a specialized tool for viewing heterozygous indels called the Heterozygous Indel Detection Tool. This tool, which opens automatically when a het indel call is double-clicked or by clicking the icon on the toolbar, provides a visual representation of allelic deconvolution. This tool can be used to confirm or edit called heterozygous indel events and also add new events. Additional information regarding the usage of this tool can be found by viewing our head indel detection webinar. Once the reviewing is complete, Mutation Surveyor offers several different reporting options. Graphical reporting options, which include electrophorogram display, can be found under the Display menu option, and output to formats such as JPEG and PDF. Reports that are in table format are located under the Reports menu and can be output as text, Excel, XML, HTML, or VCF files. One such report, the custom report, is featured in a separate webinar that we highly recommend viewing. A project file can be saved and reopened any time to allow resuming of the analysis or review. The project saves all of the last used settings for analysis and reporting, as well as any edits to mutation calling to make sure nothing is lost. This has been a short demonstration of the Mutation Surveyor software workflow. For more information or to request a free 35-day trial, please visit softgenetics.com or send an email to info at softgenetics.com. All technical inquiries can be sent via email to our technical support group at tech underscore support at softgenetics.com. Thank you for joining me today and watching this webinar.